Ah, during my last trip to Singapore, I had the brilliant idea to place an air tag into a bus and then following it around for a week and see where it's going and what the bus infrastructure looks like. And uh, so I did. Uh, outside the hotel, there were plenty of uh, buses stopping at that bus stop. And uh, I grabbed bus route number 14, a double-decker bus, and went in and had a look where I could place it. So I decided probably the rear would be the best because there's nothing behind the seat that would be the, the best place to um, deposit an air tag. To my surprise, I found that little gap between the backrest and the seat was very small and very tight, so I had quite some difficulties pushing that air tag in there, but I got it done and uh, it was absolutely not visible, so I was very happy with my little exercise and um, took the bus ride to Bedok, to the shopping center, and um, from then on followed uh, that air tag. I called that the Singapore Traveler, and um, followed it for the, for the next few days. Now, the one thing I like about Singapore is how well the place is organized. So when you're standing at the bus stop and you go into Google Maps, then you can find the bus stops, little blue squares with a bus sign in it, and you tick on that blue square, and then you get all the bus routes that stop at that bus stop. And uh, in this case, if you tick on number 14, it gives you the whole length of the bus route, and all the buses coming to you are shown on that route in real time. So later on, when I tried to retrieve the, the air tag, I had absolutely no problem uh, to catch that uh, very same bus. By the way, I also recorded its, uh, its number plate, just in case, just to make sure I'm in the right bus. And um, it is just so good, it's so organized. Anyhow, so what I did uh, for the next few days, I followed the bus around and I also could see where the bus was parked up at night. That is a place in Bedok that it's also a maintenance and repair center. And uh, to my surprise, at one day, halfway through the day, the, the bus got pulled off the route and brought to the repair center and spent then a day and a half at the workshop. And um, that, is something that uh, I always find interesting when you send air tags around. You suddenly also find the whole infrastructure of that um, outfit you place the, the air tag in. Now, the other thing was a few days later, I then tried to retrieve the air tag, caught the right bus, and what do you know? The air tag went so far in, I couldn't get my fingers in there far enough to print it out. So I tried for a while, but there was absolutely no way I could retrieve that air tag from that, um, from that bus. And uh, yeah, so I shrugged my shoulder and said, okay, that one is gone. Okay, let's follow it around. And then what I also found that on weekends, the bus does a different route. It's either bus route 28 or bus route 34. I put the um, um, the route uh, display here on the screen. Just have a quick look. Okay, so far the adventures of AirTech um, Singapore Traveler. Um, on the next video we go on to the um, next issue uh, what happened on my last trip to Singapore, another attempt to retrieve the air tech, which to no surprise failed, but we did some more. Okay guys, see you on the next video, see you then, bye bye.